welcome to this episode of Al's Garage. This will be an interesting episode as it's going to cover uh, a large part of this project, but only one focus, which of course is body and paint. Uh, I'm going to profile what I'm going to do to get this thing ready to uh, prep for bodywork and paint. Uh, step one is we're going to take off some of the little accessories. We're going to do some of the uh, sanding and then from there we're going to uh, do some of our final prep and then do our paint. This is an olive drab vehicle so there really isn't a whole lot of uh, high science involved as it relates to other jobs where you're doing two stage coats with the base and the clear. You're not going to be doing any epoxy primers or sandable primers where you're blocking anything, uh, at least mo mostly. Um, I'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible, but also keep it looking good. So uh, let's get started. We're going to start getting some of the stuff off the vehicle, like these uh, foot loops and our side view mirror bracket and things like that. I didn't get a recording of it here, but I took these footman loops off, one, two, three, and also this homemade uh, angle iron spare tire carrier that was sitting right here. Uh, I was just uh, working through it. Uh, I had my garage helper, my wife, uh, on this side, and I was on the inside. We were working through it, and I just didn't turn the camera on, but uh, I have this stuff removed. I'm going to get this reflector and a few things on the back, uh, also the bump reds.
I've been using an orbital sander here uh, to get the rest of this paint off. It's a little bit slower process, but leaves it with a nice smooth finish. Uh, I'm going to hit these with a little bit of a, uh, a hand sanding paper. Uh, and then obviously these are all my imperfections in the body where the um, uh, welding, the uh, tank marks are, God, what do they call those? Um, spot welds. So uh, I'm going to obviously leave those because I want the body to not look you know, super smooth. Uh, it'll, it'll have those imperfections, which is what it came with from the factory. The reason I stopped and turned the camera on is because uh, I'm sanding away, sanding away, and I noticed that we have uh, markings here. Before I go through this uh, completely, um, I, I, what I'll probably end up doing is leaving this on, uh, but I was not aware that there was markings here. I was kind of looking, looking, and hadn't seen anything yet on this Jeep. So, pretty exciting. It almost looks like a uh, bit of a crest, but I'm going to go through and do some uh, hand sanding on this so I can see uh, and get a better picture as to what actually this is. All right, back again. I have done some sanding as much as I think I can do without going too far on this little logo, and it's taken me a little bit of time. But as far as I can tell, it says U.S. and I think Department, maybe of, uh, and then there, there's an O and then an F and then an R. So I'm uh, asking around on the uh, internet, obviously, Facebook is a great place to connect with other people who know more about stuff like this than I am. So we'll see if I can find a uh, response that is uh, providing an answer here. But otherwise, uh, I'm going to leave that right there. Let me zoom in on it, actually, here. But otherwise, we will continue doing our sanding and watching for any additional logos to appear.
So that's going to wrap it up for this video. At the start of the video, I said something to the tune of, here's a video about body and paint. Well, clearly you can see that paint removal, body work, welding, painting is just such a long process. I'm going to split it up into a few different videos, which you'll see coming up here. But it's such an involved process, and, and, this, is even, and this isn't even a show car. This is just a, a military vehicle. Uh, I'm going to leave a lot of the you know imperfections and stuff here, but it, it still takes a lot of time to make it look decent, uh, which is what I'm trying to do with this vehicle. But uh, I'm going to close the video out with uh, me taking off the hood, the front fenders and the grill, and uh, doing some hand sand work on our spot welds that we've got going on here. So I'll close you out with that, but uh, uh, I hope you found today's video valuable and please like and subscribe and all that fun stuff and uh, hopefully we'll see you next time.